What have you learned from this experience? Uh, it was an eye opener for the prison and for uh, the hours after I got released because obviously since all my belongings were not with me last night, I couldn't go home. I didn't have my car keys or anything, so I ended up <coughs> sleeping right there. 1% in action! There's the 1%! Look at that! Get it! Got a clear view of them! Well, um, this place was completely filled, and um, the cops that were here, they were pretty pretty cool, they were nice. Um, at one point we decided to march out of here, down the street that way, up to a park or whatever, and uh, um, we stayed there at the park for a while, and then the police said that at one point we're gonna have to leave, we decided that we didn't want to because we're adults, we shouldn't have a curfew, and you know, uh, they said it was for our own safety and you know protection and we were like, you know what, we're perfectly safe on our own, you know, we're here in a, in a large number. We all have, you know, the same mentality of, you know, just relax, kind of, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, we just kind of started disagreeing with each other and negotiating this and that, blah, 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 blah. Um, rumors were coming out that they were going to, uh, attack us with tear gas. Then there was rumors that were, we were allowed to spend the night, and there was more rumors about tear gas, and back and forth, back and forth, and then uh, at one point they just, um, they just said, yeah, you gotta get out of the park, and we were like, this is kind of ridiculous, we should be allowed to stay here. So we just kind of sat down by the swing set. And I was the first one pulled out. Um, if you look at the videos or whatever online, I haven't even looked at them yet because I haven't been home yet. <laughs> but um, so, what was that experience like, being the first being pulled out off? Well, what what it was was I was the guy wearing the mask and I was looking down, so I wasn't looking at anything. I wasn't seeing the attack coming at me. At one point, I saw you know two feet in front of me. I felt arms around me, and they just dragged me out. And uh, that was that was pretty much it. Uh, they threw me down on the grass. Um, initially, they were a little aggressive to, I guess, make sure that I didn't want to squirm out of there. Um, one of the police officers, but I, I don't know what he did to the back of my neck, I guess a knee or something. But uh, after a few moments, I just kind of like yelled out. I was like, come on guys, really? Uh, I'm limp here. And they, uh, I think I heard one of them say, um, Oh, okay. And they kind of loosened up on me and then finished up, you know, zip tying me and stuff. So, uh, with your interaction with the cops, uh, do you feel that uh, they protected and served on Saturday night? Did they protect and serve the public? Uh, I believe they did as they were told. Okay. So, yes. Um, do you think them doing what they were told to do was uh, the right thing to do? No, I don't think so. Do you, uh, I mean, do you, do you think that's an effective use of your tax dollars? Not really. Do you think everyone here was peaceful? Did, did you see anyone calling for violence or? I don't think so, I know so. So, yeah, I mean, cause I was with them. So like we were sitting there, we were chanting, you know. So, what, what, how does it make you feel? One of the news stations reported that the uh, cost to the city, to the taxpayers, was uh, upwards of $400,000 on Saturday night. <coughs> what? Are you serious? Four hundred? Wow, we kind of guessed that night. Oh, it's going to cost twenty thousand. Really, four hundred? That, that was uh, NBC reported. That's not nice. That doesn't feel good. That was your money to wow. oppress you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, some of my money, a lot of other people's money as well. Well, okay, but do you think that, you know, my, my question to you is, is that what you, you want your money to go to? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. So, okay, well, I just 45 minutes ago got my belongings back. So you were you were re released from jail when? Uh, last night at 7. And you just now had to go back down to where? The 4th Ave? Not back. We had to go to a different location where the impound is, and that's where we got it from.
What jail were you booked into? Um, the one on Fourth Ave or Fourth Street or whatever. Okay, so. and so and your 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 personal belongings were somewhere else. Uh, they were there. <laughs> so funny. Uh, they were there until this morning. <laughs> and you got out last night at six. <laughs> yeah. yeah.